If I'm a talk, I'm a talk, I'm a keep it. What is going on, guys? So, me and Captain are starting off our day. It is currently 8 a.m. I'm dropping him off right now at like the beauty salon, I guess you want to call it. The little guy's gonna get all bathed, get his ears cleaned, his nails clipped, while I thrift the entire day. Today is gonna be a good trip to the thrift. We're gonna hit about six Goodwills, or we're gonna try to hit six Goodwills. Maybe we get so much stuff that we can't even hit six Goodwills because we reached like our limit. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day. You know a couple people complaining about like, oh, my videos have been changing, like, oh, you don't talk inside the thrift store and whatnot anymore. So today is gonna be kind of like a raw, trip to the thrift i'm gonna be talking to you guys a lot i'm gonna be just walking in a thrift store and just show you guys i will be doing some editing but it'll be raw vlogging so let me know how you guys like it let's get it guys ever gotten to a Goodwill before it even opened like obviously on Wednesdays at Salvation Army we have to get there before it opens but a Goodwill I've never got here so I gotta wait like five minutes for it to open I was gonna go to the ones next to the bins so that way if it wasn't open I could just go to the bins because I think bins opened up earlier but I actually drove to the wrong one so we're gonna hit up this one then we'll go to the other one by the bins and then we'll go next door to the bins and maybe I'll spend like 30 45 minutes in the bins last time I spent 15 minutes in the bins and we left with that Wu-Tang shirt and like a few other things so let's see uh, I see one two three four people waiting outside Goodwill so hey I think that they bring out new racks though like as soon as they open they bring out new racks every 30 minutes till 11 I believe like that's what I heard I'm not too sure cuz Shit, I like to sleep, so usually I don't wake up till 11, and that's when I start thrifting, but today the early bird is getting the worm. We get in that fire, because I'm tired of missing out on the good stuff. So as soon as I walk in, I see these shoes right there, and they have a sample not for resale tag on it, so I'm gonna check out and see what they are. So unfortunately that Adidas was missing the boot. It was a sample size 13, but you couldn't wear it because it was missing like the inside booty and they wanted $30, so it was like, nah, it's not worth it. I first come to the jackets just because it's the easiest to go through, then I go through the shorts, the jeans, and the t-shirts. Because figure the jackets, it's like big stuff. You could pick and see the heat. The shirts, you have to go through literally every single one, so it's kind of harder. And then the jeans, obviously taught me, you know, polo, anything like that. And also, I'm waiting for the new racks to roll out. I think that's rolling out soon, so I gotta keep an eye out for that. Man, I thought I said polo, but come on now. Got this All Saints, like, knitted sweater. It's like see-through. If you guys remember, All Saints is the high designer brand. This probably retails for about 150. Vintage Polo Sport. Unfortunately, there's no branding, just a little pocket on the side. So we're gonna pass that up. Found this New York Giants with the NFL patch and Giants on the back. But I don't know if I'm blind. Does that say $75? Are they smoking crack? What the hell? Hell no, we're putting that shit back. And we pretend like we didn't even see that. Guest jeans with the guest question mark. It is a V-neck, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it though. Huff, but it seems like it's a collab of some kind. Look at these beat, beat, beat Jordan 12s. Size 12, 2013s. They want 10 bucks. These things are so beat though. So I probably would cop these, but look, the heel drag is so bad, and there's about to be a hole right here. It's not just the paint chipping, these are actually super beat, so for 10 bucks, I'm gonna hold my money in. Run DMC shirt. 
Vintage Converse All-Star. All-Star in big letters. Nice. Well, I thought that they were gonna bring out more racks than they did. They only brought about four or five racks, but it is only 9.50, so I guess we were in there for about an hour. So, I don't know, but we did leave with some good stuff. We got that All Saints sweater as well as a few other t-shirts. Now we're gonna hit up another Goodwill and uh, hope we keep getting uh, some fire stuff, guys. Goodwill number two. Vintage Champion Knowles Seminoles. Unfortunately, there is a little of this, but I think that could be easily cleaned up. And I already have a buyer for this. Nautica with a little zipper pocket. Vintage Tweety Bird, brand new with tags. Miami Dade Police Dare. Well, we left that store with that hoodie and two t-shirts. Now we're walking up to the bins. It is Saturday, so I'm sure it's gonna be packed. Let's see. So now they're rolling out the new racks. Everyone's getting ready. It's so funny when the new stuff comes out. Well guys, I couldn't record that, but I just bought something from a like a reseller while she was picking. I'll have to show you guys like we had to go outside and do everything like low key, like apparently they're really strict on buying stuff like in store. Like I figured she's like how I was like, how much do you want for that jacket? She's like, 20 bucks. I pulled out a 20. She's like, no, 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 what are you doing? I'm like, you said 20 bucks. She's like, no, you gotta go outside. So I'll show you guys that once I do the recap. But we're gonna hit up another Goodwill, so let's get it. Now we're walking into Goodwill number three. We usually get lucky with the jackets here. As soon as we walk in, we find this Nautica competition jacket. Oh, there is a stain though, so we might have to leave this. Then we have a vintage Perry Ellis, like goose style jacket in the navy. I actually decided to pass on both of those. The Nautica had stains and then the other one was just too heavy. And I actually have two similar Perry Ellis jackets that are just like that. So it's like, it doesn't even make sense to do it. So we're gonna hit up another Goodwill. And then I just got a phone call saying Cap'n is ready to picked up. So we gotta start heading back that way. And to be honest, I could be done today. You know, we already got gold by that jacket that we picked up at the bins, but we're gonna hit up one more and then we're gonna go pick up Captain. So I decided not to hit up another thrift store. It's already 12.20 because there was a bunch of traffic coming back home. Like I said, I have to eat lunch and then I have to pick up Captain. So I'm gonna go to Payway real fast, which is right next to the Captain. Then we'll pick him up, then we'll go home and I'll show you guys all the finds that we got. I'll show you the Grail jacket that I am so hyped. Like, I sent a couple DMs to a couple people I know on Instagram, and they're like, bro, that is a Grail of a Grail jacket. Such a rare find, so I'm, I'm hyped on it. I'm really hyped. He's gonna go for the hair. He loves it. Yeah. No! 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 No!
What's wrong, little guy? You're so close. Look at that face. <laughs> All right, guys, let's jump into today's haul. So to start it off, we have size XL, but it seems like it fit a large Miami Police Dare. Size medium, we have this vintage Tweety, brand new with tags from 1996. And then on the back, this shirt is fire. If this would fit me, I would probably keep it. Size large vintage champion, which like I said, I believe this is already sold. But we have the brown with the knolls, all embroidery. Size XL, we have this Run DMC shirt, official Run DMC merch. Size large, we have this All Saints knitted sweater, which is kind of like see-through, if you guys can see. No, like I said, I'm going to be copying like kids clothes here and there whenever I find it, just because Alan said he wants me to start collecting kids clothes. So I found this Harley Davidson vintage jacket for like a little kid. It has embroidered all on the sleeves, on the back. This thing is insane. Next, we have a size medium huff shirt. And like I said, I don't know if this is a collab of some kind because of that label. Size 2XL, we have this vintage Converse with all stars in the front and then a huge Converse logo in the back. Let's see vintage Converse tag. A boys large, so about a men's small, we have the vintage Florida State jersey. Florida State on the back with the seminal, seminal on each arm, number 16. I didn't even show you guys, but after I finished eating, before I picked up Captain, I quickly ran to the mall and picked up three pairs of these. This is Polo Sport Camo Joggers. The retail was $165. I picked up three size XLs. I'm gonna go tomorrow to a different one to see if they have different sizes, but this is the but this is all they had left. So camo jogger, polo sport, it says polo sport right there. And it is tapered at the bottom, joggers. Again, three pairs. And now for the grail of today or the find of today. Like I said, I walked into the bins, didn't find anything, was walking back and forth. You guys saw the footage, how crazy the bins were. Like I don't, I don't understand how people can actually, well, I mean, I guess I understand, but it's just, if I was solely thrifting off the bins, I probably would not find anything because those people literally just grab handfuls, put it in their bin, and then they source. Like, okay, I don't want this, I want this, I don't want this, I want this. As I was doing my rounds, I saw this laying on top of a cart, and I immediately knew what it was. I was like, oh my God, but I didn't want to like act like I knew it was, right? So I kept... I didn't ask anything, I kept just looking around and then I saw whose it was. The lady finally went up to the cart and I said, hey, is this your cart? She said, yeah. I said, do you want to sell me that jacket? And she's like, oh, I got it for my son, but if you want to buy it, I'll buy it. And I was like, how much? She's like, $20. So like I said, I started pulling out my wallet. She's like, no, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm like, you said $20, let me buy it. She's like, no, 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 you can't buy it inside here. I was like, well, I'm, I'm a newbie. I have no idea about the bin. She's like, no. They get mad if you buy and resell, like if you sell stuff while you're in there. She's like, go outside, I'm gonna buy all my stuff and I'll come out. So no problem. So I went outside, waited for like five minutes. Long behold, she came out with the bag. I was like, yes, let's get it. She's like, 20 bucks and enough talking and show you guys what it is. Vintage starter satin Chicago Bulls jacket in the white colorway. Now, first of all, if you guys remember, if you guys have been watching me, you remember that I found a vintage starter satin jacket at a thrift store for $20. I was gonna pass it up. I was like, $20, that's, that's insane. Why would I buy a jacket for $20? I looked it up on eBay and ended up going for about $100. So I was like, all right, whatever, I'll, I'll take the gamble. I do the $20. Bought it for $20 and no one was buying it on my website. I think I had it on my website for $120 or $100 shipped. No one was buying it, so I was like, screw it, I'm gonna put it on eBay. I put it on eBay for $250 and it sold within like 48 hours. So as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh hell yes, like it's about to be a come up. So I buy it $20 and I send a picture to my friend and he's like, bro, are you kidding me? I was like, what? He's like, do you know how rare white satin jackets are? I was like, no. He's like, yo, you struck gold. So my other one went for about two to 300. I sold it for 250. This one goes for about three to four. 
And to be honest, yes, it is white, but it looks really yellow. So I don't know if it needs like a deep oxy clean bath or if it is like an, a yellowed color. So I'm gonna have to do a little restoration before I sell this, but size XL vintage starter tag Chicago Bulls satin jacket. Like I said, there's not too much. Like if you look on the front right there, Oh, it might not even pop up. You see that little spot there and a spot there. So I might take it to my local dry cleaning and see if they can do anything about it or how I can go about cleaning this. But I was so hyped when I found this. So steel of the day or grail of the day, size XL Chicago Bulls satin in the white. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's trip to the thrift. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Make sure you click the link down below to check out my vintage website. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog. And don't forget, guys, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Let's get it, guys. I think your girl, think your girl fell in love with me. She say my fuck and my tongue gave a remedy.